We spent the month of December in Marathon to celebrate the holidays with family visiting. We had our kids join us and then an extended family gathering to join us on Sulakwa for some snorkeling. After our extended family left, we celebrated a non-traditional Christmas as an immediate family. Then our son and his girlfriend left to go home, and Olivia stayed with us on our travel into the Bahamas. Landed in Fort Lauderdale, our friends from Michigan joined us for our ride up to Delray Beach for a week of fun. Woo! Under the Lincoln Bridge in Delray, they go. Safe travels, guys. Safe travel. To reach Bimini, we had to cross the Gulf Stream and land on this little island. So yeah, we had some anxiety. So we stopped in Fort Lauderdale to fuel up our 528 gallon tank and make sure we had enough just in case. Experienced boaters say, with the north flow to the Gulf Stream, never cross when there's wind coming south, so coming from the north. And in this case, it was slightly causing some rolls, but we had experience in rough conditions, so we were fine with it.
We love the warm welcome we got from our great friends on Big Idea 3 as we arrived here in Chubkey. We're getting good. We're getting good. <laughs> That's perfect for your video. I love it. <laughs> It was fun. We all got to hang out together, relaxing. Amy had a chance to go swimming. And I had a chance to do a little snorkeling here off the shore. At least for a short period. Oh, yeah. We took an excursion then to Turtle Creek on Chub Key. We are of course looking for turtles, but also conch shells. We didn't find either, but we did find something. Yes. Sea glass. Oh, nice. This one is clucking. Very nice. I really like the colors of this. Oh, good. And then I don't know if this is a shell, but Hard it sure enough. looks like it. Look at that. Yeah. Piece I think one. it is a shell. Mm -hmm. Probably. Some nights we ate in, and beyond the formal restaurant they have, we got to party like a local, as they refer to it, at the Naughty Rooster. That's a great place to hang out, great food, good music, good entertainment, and they encourage us to put our stickers up. After several days of great fun on Chub Key with our friends Big Idea 3, we left for Atlantis. This introduced us to some of the deepest water we've experienced on this trip. Here it's about 10,000 feet. It was here that we started to really feel the effects of the swells from the deep seas. See that big boat in front of the UV one? He's, he's struggling too, keeping it. Due to all the cruise ships in this area, you have to do a radio call to get permission to enter the channel. This was a challenging marina because with the waves and the rolling that was going on, you can see this boat struggling. We were thankful to have a Seakeeper gyro stabilizer on ours. I also learned about what a fireworm is, one here living by our boat. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. We spent our last day with our daughter on board, out sightseeing and hanging out and just enjoying each other's company. All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you did Wait, it! Wait, that was way less exciting now that you did it. I did it. <laughs> sort of. Farewell for now, Olivia, and thank you for getting this trip started with us. Next up was heading toward Highborn Key, which required a tricky turn out of this marina to avoid the rocks. And, of course, there's a strong current as well. But we made it fine and had great conditions all the way there. 
coming into Highborn Key, you come between two islands, and here you can see the tide is actually coming in, which creates an interesting challenge for navigating this very narrow strip of passageway. And here in this example, you can see a sailboat going out that same passageway I was just showing. But here the tide is going out and he's struggling to make progress. As we turn into the marina, we have to do visual piloting here to look at the watercolor for depth. The welcoming committee here greeted us with a bottom boat wash. Thank you guys. All right, we're on a jungle hike now. <laughs> it sure seems like it. There are a few little things running around in these in this brush. Now we're approaching Warderick Wells Land and Sea Park. This is a mooring field in a state park and Amy did a lot of research on this one to get a reservation but we also in that research learned that the mooring balls are positioned in the narrow little channel areas you're going to see in this illustration here. Okay, this got a little too close for our comfort.
Our boat neighbors turned out to be great people that we enjoyed hanging out with. Went ahead and climbed Boo Boo Hill with them and uh, they were so much fun to hang out with. We ended up spending quite a bit of time together. It's a tradition for visitors to leave a piece of driftwood behind with their name of their ship on it as an offering to the god Neptune and other sea gods for good sailing and safe passage. Our trip down the Atlantic Ocean was uneventful. Coming into the inlet area for Staniel Key, however, turned out to be quite a navigating challenge. We were warned that the current here can be quite strong and the gap to get in is also quite narrow. There's a lot of rock right below the waterline, so you have to really use your navigation charts to, to guide you in and then come in with a lot of confidence so the current doesn't push you into the rocks. Once you get through the opening there, you turn to the left and it's quite calm. And here's a sight you just never see in a marina in the Bahamas with all the sharks that they have around. And fortunately for that snorkeler, this marina at Staniel Key actually has a swimming with the sharks section. So these sharks are all nurse sharks, so they're very friendly and pretty benign. I have to say it is a little unnerving though when you lower your swim platform to do a little work on the back of the boat and cleaning and a shark is swimming right below you. Yikes. New friends from the previous location joined us here to shop at the blue and the pink grocery stores and we found a liquor mat as well. Laundry and liquor. We took our Williams jet tender over to the island that has the swimming with the pigs. People go there and they feed these pigs. The pigs just come right out to you in the water. Here we're just sitting in our dinghy as the pigs swim by. This is Amy swimming against the current. Nope, she's not going anywhere very fast. What do you got? Surprise! Thank you. 
fail. I tried diving to the bottom. It's too hard. I couldn't get there. It's so sad. It's too floaty in here. All right, we're about to go into the underside of that and pop up into a little cavern and hopefully be able to breathe. There we go. All right, Amy, let's see you do it. There's a really strong current. See, she jumps in here and she doesn't even have to pedal. It's gonna just suck her over into the hole. Originally, we were going to head from here to Cape Eleuthera, but because of the weather and requiring to being on the Atlantic side, we chose to stay on the shelf side and go back up to Highborn Key and wait it out so that we could cross from there to get to Cape Eleuthera. I find these striking changes in watercolor fascinating, particularly when there's such a sharp edge to it. All right, now we found our weather window to cross over the Atlantic portion to get to Cape Eleuthera. While flying the drone around, we came upon, right on the other side of the marina here, these oddly shaped cavernous type of indentations or holes right below the waterline. We couldn't see it 
until we flew or flying the drone. So we had to come back here with the dinghy later and try to do some snorkeling. And it was pretty fascinating, but still we have no idea what this was. The winds did pick up quite significantly with a major storm that was off to the northeast that had some implications for us with high winds. So we hunkered down in Cape Eleuther for a little longer than we had originally planned. And thank goodness we did because we might not ever have had the opportunity to swim with a whale shark like we did just off the shores of Cape Eleuthera. It was a spectacular sighting and a uh, swimming school observed it first, radioed about it, and we went out on our dinghy to do our own snorkeling with it. And man, was it spectacular. While in Spanish Wells, we hung out with the Freshes from the boat Refresh and did a lot of exploring and had fun.
And we'd end every evening at the best ice cream place in town, Papa's Scoops. We said farewell to Freeport and made our way then to Palm Beach, Florida, our final leg of our trip. It started out a little rougher than we anticipated, but it did smooth out. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death, look like big fun, come on, let's get it on, like that one, fin gay song, I'm stunning, you love it, come on, give me something. I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we We made it across the Gulf Stream again Woohoo! This is our, uh, we're approaching our final stop on our big epic journey And we couldn't be, uh, I guess we're sad and excited We're sad and excited Yeah, Can't wait. But.
we've reached a, a very bittersweet moment in our <laughs> epic journey that we had planned out. And uh, this moment right now is, is officially the very end of it. Um, we, you know, we sought out to go do the, the half the loop down to Marathon. Uh, we finished now the Bahamas and our plan all along from a couple years ago as we were planning all this was to sell the boat at the end of the journey at the Palm Beach Boat Show. And so we have time coming back from the Bahamas such that we could prepare for that. And what we didn't plan for though was that the boat, we brought the boat back to start the prepping process and immediately we had interest in the boat and a buyer who put in an offer immediately. We accepted it and now we've, we're moving off the boat. Uh, we Today, spent, now yeah. here we go. Yeah, it's been all day that we've been unloading and getting ourselves ready for the next epic journey we have, which is basically trying to find a place to live on land here in Florida now. Uh, but thank you all very much for following us along on this journey. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> okay, you can't cry about it. Oh my God. <laughs> um, we've had a great time and Sulakwa is a great boat. So we wish the new owners uh, great travels, uh, fair winds and following seas, as they say. <laughs> and to all of you who might be boaters, thanks for watching.